Yes, and welcome back to Why in the Morning. This is Queen's Wednesday. Special thanks to Kalam Ival and Oguda Kaisu for always starting our Wednesdays on a laughing note uh, with breaking views. So as I always say, if you happen to interact with the video that you think uh, deserves to be on TV like that, send it our way on White54 channel on Twitter, White54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White54 on Facebook, or you can hit me up directly at It's By More. And uh, today for Strength of a Woman, we're doing something special uh, for the bakers in this country and in this continent as well. We're on channel 376 on DSTV. So if you know somebody who's interested in baking, this is that segment for them. I have the CEO and founder <laughs> of the Bakers Club, Kenya. Very much. Asante sana. All right. Thank you. Your camera is number four. All right. uh, just, uh, you can give them a brief intro of you before we get into the conversation. All right. Thank uh -huh. you. I'm happy to be here. Mm -hmm. My name is Wanjiku Mugo. I am the founder of uh, the Bakers Club, mm -hmm. which is a, a community of bakers, cake lovers, and mm -hmm. uh, basically everyone who has an interest in baking. Mm -hmm. And by interest, you mean even yeah. the eaters. The eaters are also those members who, of the Bakers yes, Club. All right, I thought I thought I was left out because because uh, I don't think I have the skill to bake, but I really I, I know I have the skill in tasting cakes. <laughs> in eating, yes. yes. So we need you because you need to tell bakers uh -huh. what you expect. All right. From the cakes. So they feed on feedback, them. Definitely. They uh, we feed on the cakes. They feed on feedback. Yes, <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you very much for coming through. Mm -hmm. And uh, the story is quite inspiring. Uh, to date, you have up to three hundred and fifteen thousand members on Baker's Club. Yes. On Baker's Club. Yes. This started out as a as a, as a, as a Facebook group. Yes. But there's a free story to the main story. Yes. All right. Why uh, why, why did you start this group for? Okay, um, when I started the Baker's Club, uh -huh. it was, uh, actually it was majorly for me. Uh -huh. I had just realized I have this passion uh -huh. in baking, mm -hmm. I have this skill, mm -hmm. and uh, mostly I was pushed in that direction by my son, Austin. Mm -hmm. I have a son called Austin. And uh, uh, <laughs> hi, Austin. <I> <laughs> he's in school, oh, but I know he's in school. Yeah, he, he, sure. Yes, he <laughs> will. And uh, when he turned three years, mm -hmm. There's that, I know most of the parents will understand that mm -hmm. thing of uh, what is he going to carry for school tomorrow? Uh -huh. That snack, that uh -huh. snack. That's snack, that's 10 o'clock, yes. So I told myself I'll be, I'll be staying home mm -hmm. on uh, Sunday afternoons mm -hmm. and I'll be baking some cupcakes uh -huh. that he can carry to school the following mm -hmm. day, I can take to the office and, uh -huh. you know, basically like a breakfast solution. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I started baking from my house uh, uh -huh. uh, for, for our own consumption because uh -huh. they were very yummy and very right. delicious. <laughs> but yeah. you don't say. Yes. Uh -huh. so, and then I realized one of the challenges I was facing was uh -huh. to, to get uh, like ingredients, accessories, uh -huh. you know. Uh -huh. In cake, you mm -hmm. have a lot of small, small things that you can yes, really that make a very big difference. Yes. Mm -hmm. So where do you get these things? I only knew when I was starting out. I only knew two bakers, mm -hmm. and I would call them. Where mm -hmm. do I get this? Where do I get that? Mm -hmm. And then I thought, okay, I know there are bakers out there. I mean, even online on Facebook, you'll mm -hmm. you'll even see cakes posted that uh -huh. they look machine made. You uh -huh. know, they, they actually don't look like handmade. Eh? Uh -huh. So I thought, where are all these bakers? Uh -huh. That is how I thought. Let me have a community let me start a group eh, mm -hmm. where we can interact network mm -hmm. help each other mentor each other you mm -hmm. know demystify cake that is how the baker's club was born that is how the baker's club was born yes. as, uh, as a small community yes. for bakers then yes. facebook was so timely thank you mark zuckerberg uh yes. you could take this online and yes. involve other people as well yes. not necessarily from around mm -hmm. you. all mm -hmm. right so from uh, a solution to your son's problems mm -hmm. <laughs> to a big community of 15,000 yes. people. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, when you started this group, what was your vision with it? I was looking at, you see, uh, real-time solutions, uh -huh. real-time help for people. I mean, I am baking this and things are backfiring on me uh -huh. and somebody is there with an answer. With baking, I've, yes, I've heard. things can backfire on mm -hmm. you nicely. Yeah? Uh -huh. uh, maybe power has gone off my my cake is in the oven, and uh -huh. there's someone there telling you, do A, B, C, D. You see, uh -huh. real time, you know, people networking and helping each other out. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, there, there are those people who don't even know how you, they, they, they are good at eating the cake, but they don't know <laughs> how you come up with the cake. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yes. So, and I am happy that a lot of people are now baking for their families. Uh -huh. Just 
breakfast, just, mm -hmm. you know, I'm home, so I put something in the oven. Mm -hmm. So we share recipes mm -hmm. out there, mm -hmm. and on our group, we'll share recipes, tips, mm -hmm. what worked for me, what mm -hmm. hasn't worked, how do you do this? Mm -hmm. Again, we have another category mm -hmm. of uh, suppliers mm -hmm. and vendors of, you know, everything that we use mm -hmm. comes from somewhere, uh -huh. right? Yes. We have brands uh -huh. of, that, that produce the ingredients that we have, mm -hmm. that we use, and uh, there's all that interaction. There are people who do courier uh -huh. for cakes, you know, cakes uh -huh. are, have, have to be handled. So in this is a whole network of yes. people who yes. deal in cakes, yes. from the couriers to the suppliers of the ingredients, to manufacturers, to, manufacturers. to the end users, uh -huh. like you, like myself, <laughs> <laughs> all right? Yes, uh -huh. to people who will wake up in the morning, wow, it is, you know, we are living in a fast world, eh? mm -hmm. you, keep, you even forget things. Tomorrow is my daughter's birthday, I mm -hmm. don't even know where to get cake. I head straight to the baker's club, Interesting. I'll yes. get a solution. There's, there are like so many bakers near you, mm -hmm. you didn't even know, mm -hmm. you see, so you get ordering cake, cake is even delivered to where you are. You mentioned something about uh, demystifying uh, the, the, the baking culture. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, what are some of the, 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 the craziest things you've heard Kenyans uh, say about baking or cakes in general? Okay, I've heard people say, cake is just unga, eggs, that's it. Uh -huh. Wow, there's a whole lot that it's happens. It's a whole process. Yes, it's a whole uh -huh. process. When you say it's just unga, what quantities, how is that skin, what makes, I mean, it's a probably, whole uh, okay, a, a majority of the cakes that we have use flour, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. But now, what makes them different? Mm -hmm. You see, what so makes this this flavor? This what flavor makes this, from this the textures yeah, if it are is different? Just flour, then uh -huh. Why are uh -huh. cakes different? You know, you, why do you have black forest? Why do right. you have a vanilla? Why do you uh -huh. have yes? So why do you have the so soft ones? Why more. do you have the hard ones? Yes, mm -hmm. there's so much more to cakes and baking than just that right. slice you get on the plate. Kenyans, well, other Kenyans who have heard say that cakes are are a luxury. What would you say about that? No, they are not. Mm -hmm. They are not a luxury. Okay, there is. Um, we have this tradition of. I have an event. Mm -hmm. Centerpiece is cake, mm -hmm. right? So, but on a normal day, mm -hmm. why not wake up to a vanilla slice and a cup of tea as your breakfast? All right. Or yeah. Just so it's not a luxury. It's something it's like you can food. eat Actually, after dinner. Yeah? Cake is a dessert, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. So at the end of the meal, uh -huh. there's a piece of cake. There's a piece of cake. Yes. At the end of the meal. Yes. All right. Uh, the reason I say uh, the reason they they claim it's 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 a luxury. People mm -hmm. will assume it's expensive. Do you consider mm -hmm. this? Yeah. Uh, or the expensive is relative. <laughs> I will not say it's expensive, mm -hmm. but I will tell you something. There's mm -hmm. there's a cake for every amount. Uh -huh. Okay. There's a cake for every, for amount, every amount, depending on what you want, uh -huh. okay? And the bakers out there, are, they have all this. Uh -huh. They have a whole range of you know, flavors, and it depends. And, and a cake, like um, you hear someone, maybe, you, maybe you'll call us for your birthday next. Uh -huh. uh, then we'll ask you what it's cake almost, do you it's want. It's August 23rd. <laughs> August. <laughs> so we'll ask you what do you want. You mm -hmm. see, there's a discussion. Mm -hmm. and then we'll come up with whatever you need uh -huh. for you. What suits you, what suits uh -huh. your pocket. And so then, there's a cake for every pocket. There's a, Yes, for every amount. Mm -hmm. And there's even a homemade cake uh -huh. that you bake for yourself, which I fully advocate for. Uh -huh. I mean, why don't everyone wake uh -huh. up in the morning and put something in the oven? Uh -huh. You know, make bake your own for bread. your family, make your own bread, uh -huh. make your own cake. Make, you'll order that eh, uh -huh. very well decorated when you have in August. Eh? Uh -huh. Does it mean between today and August you will not eat cake? Uh, uh -huh. Chances are very I'm going to eat cake. You I have see. a sweet tooth right there. You <laughs> see, yeah. So why not even bake uh -huh. in your own house? All it's right. even very therapeutic. You know, mm -hmm. you can, when you're working on a cake, you totally lose yourself in there. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. because you want, it, from measuring of your mm -hmm. ingredients, because you want to be exact. Uh -huh. You want this to be this and this. You totally sort of forget other things. I like that you mentioned therapy because uh, it's something that the world needs right now. Yes. Uh, how was it? How, 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 how did it uh, build the relationship between you and your son, baking together okay. uh, when you were starting out? I'll tell you this. Mm -hmm. The first few weeks, uh -huh. he would sit there. You know, I have a day job, so mm -hmm. I, my baking is maybe in the evening when mm -hmm. I get home or weekends. Mm -hmm. I'll get home in the evening and he's like, are you making cupcakes? Yes. And he'll sit there. Mm -hmm. He'll do he was like, I'm waiting for them so <laughs> you have to eat the first one. Then uh -huh. something very funny happened. Uh -huh. in, in a few weeks of eating now, it became... It's something normal. Yes. So right. And then he would be like, I don't want to carry cake to school tomorrow. So I was back <laughs> to the same problem. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but there are varieties. Uh -huh. You can do banana bread. Uh -huh. You can do... You see, so you can always make it different. Different, yes. All right. You can do buns. You can uh -huh. do bread. 
from your house. And you know, there's that mystery of, wow, we made bread in our house. We made bread. So uh, yeah. apart from cake being dessert, cake being tasty, cake being all these things, mm -hmm. it can be a way of family bonding during the yes. making of these cakes. Yes. And yes. It, has worked, it has worked for you, for sure. Yes. When you're telling, when, when now that you're... Probably you're working with you. I also have a daughter uh -huh. who is like, uh, I think she should join you people. I mean, yes, I see is. young people all over. I mean, <laughs> why to fight for, uh, for the this youth? This is a place eh? for young people. Yeah, she's in campus. Mm -hmm. So when you're involving everyone, mm -hmm. okay, you, uh, I need this quantity of flour. Mm -hmm. You, I need count the eggs. Uh -huh. You, I need, and then you grease the tin, prepare uh -huh. the tin. It's like everybody's in there and uh -huh. the end product will be like, we made this. This together. Yeah, we made this, yeah. Uh -huh. So you'll find, and my heart, I have a special place for beginners uh -huh. who are just starting out in uh -huh. baking because they'll bring a cake i made this for my daughter we made it together for her birthday and it's uh -huh. amazing okay maybe the other the seasoned bakers mm -hmm. will look at it like, ah, yeah, this is a beginner. But uh -huh. you can imagine what that girl felt, uh -huh. that me and my mom, me and my parents, we uh -huh. made this cake at home. The outcome is amazing. Yes, even it's other, not messy. other kids think your mom is a super woman. <laughs> it's a you super know? woman. Yes, but uh -huh. you bonded very well, you, you know, putting, especially decorating. Uh -huh. And they'll tell you, mom, I want, I want that part here, I want uh -huh. this here. And like when we're making uh, when we're making birthday cake for my son, mm -hmm. Austin, uh -huh. he will tell you all the cartoon characters that he wants on that, that cake. Wants, and this is very good for experimentation. How is this going to work? <laughs> <laughs> he, he wants it that way. Yeah. So uh -huh. there's a lot of interaction when you're working together with these kids for on your cakes. It's all right. Yes. What I'm holding right here is uh, is the constitution uh, of uh, the Baker's Club, can you? <laughs> <laughs> And uh, uh, section one, cup one, <laughs> says baking uh, and cake only. This group is for bakers, cake lovers, and anyone in the baking industry. All posts must be uh, baking and cake related. Any post other than this will not be approved. How do you manage to, to, to control 315,000 people? If you've gone through what you're calling our constitution, yes. just, just a few rules that we put mm -hmm. together, you know, guidelines. Like the Ten Commandments. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> just guidelines, mm -hmm. eh? because we want to focus on cake and baking. Mm -hmm. We do not want to bring in, you know, so many other, uh -huh. uh, yeah. Uh, we sell electronics, we sell phones. Yes, All shoes, right. uh -huh. and yeah, yeah. We, we want to, you know, have focus people on the course. Focus on the course, yeah, uh -huh. and stay with the same interest. I mean, one thing has brought us to, together, so let's let's stick to that. All right. Yeah. Uh, I think this one tells us so much about your personality. Be kind and courteous. Yes. Polite language is mandatory in this group. Anyone <laughs> using abusive language or throwing stones gets an, gets an instant block. Always treat others with respect and report an uh, and respectful member uh, to the uh, to, to that to the group admin. Yes. Yes. What does this mean to you? Now we're uh -huh. living in Courtesy the world of um, and and kindness. Social media. Uh -huh. Social media. I mean. Everyone and anyone is, is on it. It doesn't mean uh, that uh, everyone has good intentions. There are uh -huh. people who will, who will wake up in the morning loaded with negative energy. Yes, and they, they want to spread it. Down, yes. uh -huh, they want so to you find someone posting a cake uh -huh. and, and they're like, and somebody else comes and I don't like it. Uh -huh. There is a way you can give feedback that uh -huh. you need to improve. You Even know? if it's Politeness, negative feedback. You know, just uh -huh. use language that is a bit, you know. Uh -huh. Acceptable, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So what you're seeing there is like it's my page. Yeah, yeah this is this is Lucia. this is your personal page. This is my personal page. We this have is your personal my page. My personal page, one Chico Lucia, uh -huh. because and I exceeded the the number of friends on Facebook, oh, so I had to okay. do so a page. Okay, so you had to start a personal page. Yes. You have so many people that look up to you. I can see. Uh, yeah, and uh, uh, up to fifteen thousand people like your page. Yes. You're famous than your teenage daughter. <laughs> <laughs> your I don't think so. <laughs> she is pretty popular. She's yeah, really yes, popular. Yes. All right. So, uh, uh, the page is uh, Wanjiko Lucia. Yeah? We have uh, another the, page, the, uh -huh. the Baker's Club. Uh -huh. And we have now the group, the Baker's Club. All right. Yes. Okay. So, uh, have, you, have you seen this happening in any other country apart from Kenya? Have yes, you seen yes, other yes, Baker's yes, Clubs yes. in different countries? Yes, only that they go by different names. Different like names. Especially, like, uh, we, we're having a lot of, in Nigeria, uh -huh. there's, uh, there's International Star Baker's Group uh -huh. doing amazing things. Mm -hmm. We have our neighbors here in Uganda, Cake uh -huh. Shop Kampala. Uh -huh. We have So you've people. looked into them. Have you tried to yes. network with them as uh, well? Definitely, yes. Uh -huh. we, we talk. We are in, in all these groups. They are also in this group. Uh -huh. you see, because you also need to see what is happening out there. You uh -huh. also need to see what exposure. other countries are doing. Yeah, exposure, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the social media scene, you, you, 
you do not have boundaries. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have members from all over the world. Right. You see, so similarly, other other members who are in in a, in other countries are also right. in our group, and we also in groups on there that mm -hmm. we want to know what what are they doing that we can do here locally. All right, people will quickly assume that you run a business, you run a baking business, which is not the case. This is a social enterprise. Actually, it's an empowerment mm -hmm. program thing. I work. 70% of the people in my group are women, mm -hmm. with uh, uh, people between 18 to 40 being 56%. Mm -hmm. So you can see the age group, the uh -huh. women. I really like working with the youth uh -huh. and the women, and especially uh -huh. especially those people who, who will say, you know, we're living in time, hard times, eh? uh -huh. that we uh, have no job. I have no job. There's I'm just no in way the house. Uh -huh. I'm just in the house. Mm -hmm. So we tell you, in that house, mm -hmm. you can actually, a, a business can be born in that house. Mm -hmm. So if you do not have any baking skills, mm -hmm. please come. We will show you how to, mm -hmm. to bake, mm -hmm. okay? We'll start you off. Mm -hmm. We'll give you the, the, the basics, mm -hmm. okay? And we recently set up a resource center in Buruburu. Mm -hmm. It's fully equipped, mm -hmm. and we have books. We're mm -hmm. still sourcing for more books and publications. We have baking. a lot of viewers from uh, east, the east side of Nairobi. Yeah, so yeah. which part exactly in Buruburu? Buruburu Phase 5. Buruburu Phase 5. Near Satam Church, yes. Uh, near Satam Church. Yes. Uh -huh. So uh, we, I, I, I thought of something like that because uh, we have people who are very skilled. Mm -hmm. Maybe they do not have the equipment. Mm -hmm. Okay? So mm -hmm. I'm looking at a time where you will come, you tell me I have, I, I want to do business, mm -hmm. okay? But I do not have, you know, there's startup, there's that capital, mm -hmm, there's mm -hmm, what. Mm -hmm. So we'll tell you the business part of it. You know, you need to be compliant with the county, uh -huh. the, world, the health the regulations, taxes and all that, uh -huh. yes. Then before you get fully equipped, mm -hmm. you can still get orders. Mm -hmm. Come, we'll talk, mm -hmm. then you'll use our facility mm -hmm. and you can produce from there mm -hmm. and deliver your cakes. Right. You see, that means you from, earn something. Uh, <laughs> all right, okay. from, from, from a Facebook group, group to a resource center now. Yes. All right, where did this idea of a resource center come from? Um, just the need. Okay, most of the things that I have done mm -hmm. are from, you know, realizing there's a need for something. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, now that resource center, mm -hmm. I know so many people will tell me that, you know, I'm just in my house. I can't move. Mm -hmm. I know how to bake. Yes, I can't move. Maybe you're very skilled, a skill that other people are looking for. Mm -hmm. Why don't you come to the resource center and other people will come and we'll have some peer sharing and mm -hmm. peer training. Mm -hmm. You see, you pass on those skills to others mm -hmm. at a small fee, maybe, mm -hmm. because the center also has to run, you see. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. have to pay bills mm -hmm. and all. So we'll do, we'll do classes there. Mm -hmm. We'll get individuals who are skilled. Mm -hmm. We are, like... You Not know, to mention books and content books for... Books and content and, and, and yeah, you see? Uh -huh getting to even network mm -hmm. maybe you're just in the house you do not have a job and you don't know other people what other people are doing there so you can come maybe on a wednesday and uh -huh. there, there, there's 10 of you at the resource center and you're sharing and all see right. out of yeah. all these things that you're doing how are you managing to run the resource center uh while doing other things that you're doing in your life parenting okay. and the rest of them that resource center is not for me uh -huh. it is for the community uh -huh. as we speak now there's a very skilled girl called uh -huh. husnita Husna is from the coast and she's very gifted mm -hmm. in, the, in the kitchen. So she, she's stationed at the resource center. She's doing her mahamri, her vichette, uh -huh. her what what, and her uh -huh. cakes also. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And she's going to be like um, stationed there. Mm -hmm. My daughter, mm -hmm. her, when she's not in school, uh -huh. and her friends, uh -huh. they, they, they are there. Uh -huh. You see, they want to come. So I want to make it so a way that we can even thing. have a roster. Who's uh -huh. manning the resource center this week? Uh -huh. Who's doing it? It doesn't have to be me. I, I am not going to be there. I can mm -hmm. only be there on Saturdays, uh -huh. okay? Because I am working. I can only be there on weekends. Uh -huh. Sunday is a day of worship and family, yeah? Uh -huh. But Saturday, I, I, I will always be there. Wonderful. I'm pretty sure um, putting a smile on your kids' faces uh, it brings you joy. Hello. Baking brings you joy. Yes. Uh, and uh, what is this one thing that uh, if you achieve it with the Baker's Club will bring you so much joy? Uh, I want baking mm -hmm. to be fully like recognized as you know even our learning top learning institutions why mm -hmm. don't they curate why don't they have something that you can actually come from form four and mm -hmm. go to Nairobi University for you see mm -hmm. I know we have the culinary you know uh, mm -hmm. thing and but I want to see people focus more on baking mm -hmm. as, as even a career mm -hmm. you see as a career. yeah mm -hmm. and um, maybe from my age group where I, I 
from our, our age, mm -hmm. there are people who look at you, you're a baker. Mm -hmm. They don't even take you serious. Like, uh -huh. you don't have a job. <laughs> 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 yeah, There's people are earning there. full mm -hmm. time. A lot of people are earning from baking. Mm -hmm. It's a full, it's a real, it can be a source of income. It can be a source of it income, for, source of many, income for, many, for many Kenyans. Yes. Yes. And uh, especially now that you're working with uh, the marginalized, the women mm -hmm. and the youth. And the youth, yes. Uh, the people who mm -hmm. have been sidelined. Mm -hmm. uh, but shout out to our president for nominating uh, so many women for positions. No, for yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Yeah. So, so I'd like to see what goes on in this, in this, uh, in this particular group right yeah. here. Yeah, you see everyone is watching. Hello. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, they're, they're watching yeah. us live. Yes, they're Shout watching us Shout out to you, uh, Anjo Ki, Anjo Beldin, Ki. Mati Oche, uh, Helen Karanja, Melody Tatai, Susie Wamai. Thank you very much for watching Wine in the Morning. And you guys make this possible. Mm -hmm. You're so passionate about uh, homemade food yes. as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you have something against processed foods. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have something about processed food. Uh -huh. But... I feel I don't have to wait until the day I buy uh -huh. a cake uh -huh. to enjoy cake. Uh -huh. I mean, like now it's January, right? Uh -huh. So getting that extra coin, why not just bake in the house? Uh -huh. It is okay to buy. Uh -huh. It is okay. It's fine. Uh -huh. But why not also make for your own? All right. Is and experiment. You know, experiment. you can even custom make it and uh -huh. call it your name. Call it right here. A man can come into shops near you. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, uh, this is a cake by one of the group members. Yes, Beldina. Uh, this is for sale. I love the graphics. <laughs> this is an open market. Yes. Uh, uh, you can sell to up to 315,000 people <laughs> who have the same interest. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. I love this so much. Uh, what is the future of the Vakers Club? Are we going to be seeing more events oh, yes. uh, uh, and, and, and things like that? Uh, we have a lot mm -hmm. coming up. Uh, just last year we started with, uh, with um, holding events, cake mm -hmm. testing events, mm -hmm. because uh, there are people out there who are doing amazing cakes. Mm -hmm. But Cake is not something that you will ask. If you want to order maybe a birthday cake from someone, mm -hmm. you will not probably get to taste before, mm -hmm. right? Like you want to order just a small cake. Mm -hmm. how, how do you tell the baker, give me a sample first, <laughs> you see? <laughs> exactly. it's, it's really not, <laughs> not workable because baking that small sample will also cost the baker. Uh -huh. So we started holding cake testing events. Mm -hmm. eh? We've been holding uh, at All Saints. We mm -hmm. get grounds, we do tents, mm -hmm. and then bakers come with, um, they, they take uh, stands, mm -hmm. uh, they give uh, cakes for free. Mm -hmm. Free. Uh, for <laughs> I free? know you want that back. <laughs> yes, I so love for that free. Back right there. And they also do slices for sale. And then, uh -huh. you know, it's an interaction. So mm -hmm. people who love cake or people who are looking, maybe you, you want to, the day you uh, have your wedding, mm -hmm. you're looking for a baker. <laughs> Thank you very much for the blessings. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> for a baker who is going to provide uh -huh. your wedding cake. Uh -huh. So how are you sure that that day uh -huh. things are going to be the same on the ground you know uh -huh. like so you'll come and then you'll taste a few you'll, you'll move from baker <laughs> to baker internet savvy, I can see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you will come get to visit different bakers who have the stands and mm -hmm. they'll interact with you they'll tell you this is where we bake from here these are our flavors mm -hmm. please taste these tell us what you think mm -hmm. tell us whether to ha where to improve or or you know mm -hmm. what do you like about our cakes here's our contact mm -hmm. so when you want to order cake uh -huh. yeah then you'll move to the next and the next and we also have uh, at the same venue we have brands mm -hmm. that uh, provide the ingredients that we use mm -hmm. and we have companies that have really supported us you know mm -hmm. supporting bakers because some we, sometimes you don't even know what you need. Mm -hmm. and then they're here, they'll tell you we have icing sugar, this is what we produce, mm -hmm. and yeah. All so right. they're also there and you get to interact. Uh -huh. and, and networking, empowerment. Yes. yes. All right. Another thing that got my attention, as, as uh, I wish the, <laughs> the viewers <laughs> could see what's going on on my screen here. Uh -huh. uh, so it's, it looks very simple what's happening here, mm -hmm. but this takes a lot of training. Yes. All right. Have you learned some, some tricks? Ah, uh, a lot. Okay, a lot baking is a journey, and especially cake uh -huh. decoration. You know, uh -huh. I, would, I would say cake is in two parts. Uh -huh. There's the baking part where it, it is in the oven and it comes out and it's all good. Uh -huh. Then there's the deco part. Uh -huh. The deco part is where the work is. Where the, the, the product meets yes, the like eyes. what that person uh -huh. is doing. So you'll find there are people who are very gifted. They can even sculpt her. Uh -huh. they, they can even, um, you know, make you into cake. Uh -huh. You see? Uh -huh. they, we have now uh, cakes in the shape of guards uh -huh. and calabashes mm -hmm. and pots and kyondo, the what, uh -huh. yes, so 
takes a lot of practice. Just uh -huh. like every skill, you uh -huh. have to, to master it, you, you need to really practice. Right. Yeah, so, but there are tutorials, there are people who are training, there are people who have uh, institutions that pass on these skills. Mm -hmm. yes. Another thing that really got my attention is that this is no longer just a Facebook group, yes. but it's a, it's, a, it's a real group. And, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, by real group, I mean people interact, uh, people network here, mm -hmm. not only online, but even face-to-face uh, -face and physically. And now, you, now that you have a resource center, it makes it even mm -hmm. easier. So please share with them how they can uh, contact you, or they can, uh, they can order a cake, how they can join the group, how, how they can be part of the resource center. Yes. everything that you're doing okay um, like you said we started on Facebook mm -hmm. as a Facebook group mm -hmm. we've moved so much to offline interactions like just mm -hmm. what I said about the events mm -hmm. the, the, the cake testing events uh, we do classes we do and now we have the resource center we even have we are in the process of fully developing an, an app it's mm -hmm. on Play Store mm -hmm. the Baker's Club and uh, the one thing I tell people, get on Baker's Club on mm -hmm. Facebook. Mm -hmm. You will find so many bakers where you will order cake from. Mm -hmm. You will be spoiled for choice. Okay? All right. Yeah. Uh -huh. So and and these bakers are always posting. You're able to see the level of skill, the level of even feedback from people who've ordered from them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, maybe I might mention this, we were even recognized by Zuckerberg yeah? uh -huh. for building a meaningful community. All right. Yes, the Baker's Club. You are the second people to be recognized after Donald Trump. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we have so many other Kenyans who are doing amazing things. No. There's, no. there's Noah Nasiali who's doing uh, a lot with the farmers. We uh -huh. have Pamela who's doing Let's Cook, you know, Kenyan meals. And uh -huh. We have so many others and we were given some recognition um, as people, individuals who've built what they call, Facebook calls, meaningful communities. Meaningful communities. Yeah. And this is a very big community, up to 315,000, and mm. it's still open to more of you if you'd like, if you're interested in baking as a baker, as a taster, as a, as a learner, as, as, a, learner, mm. as, a, as, a, as a trader as well, Yes. Uh, in yes. the process, as a courier of the cakes. Yes. There are so many opportunities in the Baker's Anything Club. Cake. Uh, so we should not say there are no opportunities in this country mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, shout out to Zuckerberg for recognizing uh, <laughs> what you're doing mm -hmm. and uh, thank you very much for what uh, you're doing to the to the community to the women to the youth uh, but we can't end this without talking about this app we're living in the era of in the, the apps yes. in the Everything digital era and this is amazing that you're transitioning this from a Facebook group uh, to an application uh, what is your vision with the application uh, yes, we are living in a, in, a, in a world where everything is on phone, mm -hmm. everything is accessible by the you know, touch of a button, mm -hmm. and you can actually sit in your house, food is delivered, everything uh, is delivered, everything is delivered. Employ uh, employers nowadays even allow you to work from home, you mm -hmm. see, so you can stay there. So why not have a, a, you know, something for cakes also? Mm -hmm. So uh, I thought we have bakers all over the country, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes you don't even know the bakers in your neighborhood mm -hmm. and you have an occasion coming up in your house mm -hmm. so why not somewhere you can log in and mm -hmm. see like you see the way the, the cab the cabs uh -huh. the transport the cabs, the cabs do yeah. yeah so you'll you'll just log in and then it picks uh -huh. There's a, there's a baker near you here, uh -huh. and their contact is this, uh -huh. and they have their profile there, they've uploaded maybe photos of what they do, they've mm -hmm. given contacts, uh -huh. okay? So you, you know, sometimes we interact, that came, I saw the need because we'll interact online on mm -hmm. Facebook, and then you see someone posted a very nice cake, mm -hmm. you want that cake, uh -huh. you're in Nairobi. Uh -huh. Only for the person to tell you, I'm sorry, I'm in Mombasa, uh -huh. you see? So you would have narrowed your search uh -huh. to where you are, mm -hmm. okay? So. It's on Play Store. We mm -hmm. are still developing and doing a lot mm -hmm. on it because we also even want in future to incorporate maybe a payment uh, platform uh -huh. where Through you can the complete the whole year. Uh -huh. You can complete the whole, you identify a baker, this is what I want, you interact, and then uh -huh. payment ca comes and the cake All is right. delivered. Can we, uh, uh, c c ideally, c are we going to be getting ingredients as well on this app? Yes, we uh -huh. are going to have a section for traders, uh -huh. you see, uh, and so that even the bakers can be users Mm -hmm. of the same app that they're selling on. Wow, a wholesome application. Yes. Thank you very much for coming through. Thank uh, you. One last time, I'll give you a chance to remind them how they can interact with you um, or get a hold of you if okay. they need your services. Okay, um, Baker's Club is on Facebook. Mm -hmm. It's a Facebook group, mm -hmm. and we have a page. Just look them straight into the eyes. <laughs> okay. We have a page, the Baker's Club. We have the group, the Baker's Club. We are on Instagram. 
the Baker's Club. Mostly we'll always do updates of what is happening and especially now that we're working on a schedule for the resource center, we'll be updating uh, the activities that are lined up so far. We have classes coming back to back by other trainers, people mm -hmm. who are skilled, and we, you will always get information online on us. And I can't top yeah. that. We have to end it at that. Thank you very much for coming through. Thank, Thank you. you very much for what you're doing. And uh, this is Strength of a Woman. And uh, if you're interested in baking, the Baker's Club is a place to be yes. on Facebook. An application is coming soon as well. And uh, Kalami Valley is coming up next with Girls Talk. You don't want to miss the hot topic that she got for you. My name is Barry Moses, or it's Barry Moon on social media. Don't go anywhere. Don't touch that out.